Hello, everyone. This is Karis Alexander with Deep Truth Media. Wow, it is such a powerful time. It is such a powerful time because this is the first time in human history, as far as human history, as far as I understand it, and as far as I have been exploring and coming to a greater understanding of this physical dimension and where we are in this evolutionary period of time and space that what I'm, from what I'm understanding and what I'm experiencing is that this is the first time in human history where our essence, which is the ultimate and only reality can experience itself through this concept of the soul in this experience of the physical dimension in these biological vehicles and the personality through the personality that this whole concept of a soul that expresses itself through this electric magnetic field or the the aura um, can experience itself through these physical bodies and that this is the first time in human history where our essence can experience itself through a concept called a soul in these physical bodies and know that it is experiencing itself through a soul and through a body or a physical vehicle. And, and so this is a quite an interesting time. And so can we contemplate that for those of us here and for those that are engaging in this whole concept in the evolution of consciousness or a consciousness that we would go through a process of initiation. Can you contemplate that? That everything that you are experiencing in your life right now, whether it be positive or negative, is that your essence, that what you are, is an engaging, engaging in an initiatory process in order to make sure that it can positively express itself through this concept of a soul and through this concept of a biological vehicle. Contemplate this, that in the integration of the right and left hemispheres of the brain is integration of the yin and yang into balance that our essence, which is the ultimate and only reality, must go through some kind of, of a process of initiation or apprenticeship. And that everything that you're struggling with, everything that you're going through right now is prepping you for the potential of you having the possibility of experiencing a destiny for yourself, which is outside or could potentially be outside the confines of what you conceive of a potential destiny or a potential reality for the personality and the biological vehicle And so I want to just touch on this uh, sharing that I did on Facebook around this whole concept of money and how our essence really is a mirror reflection of this concept of energy, light, frequency, current money, electricity, or magnetism, our, our ability to interface as our essence with this whole concept of money is really what keeps us imprisoned in this system of consciousness. I know this because I struggle with this currency. You know, I mean, 
it's 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 um and having to be def- live within a system which ultimately keeps you in a um keeps you divided because this whole concept of our money shifting into a new energy in the heart chakra is different than what we have grown into this fear around money and their survival program. And so I wanted to share this sharing with you and that we are moving from this whole concept of the root chakra, which we primarily experience the energy of money, which has a lower frequency, which is designed to keep us um, in the survival program, disconnected from our heart and our capacity to create a world of our own choosing, a world of our own making at a higher frequency. And when we can really come to comprehend that we are bound by this frequency of fear that keeps us in this perpetual loop of a lower frequency at the root chakra or the sacral chakra, you know, our sexual energy center keeps us locked down and not allowing that sexual energy to flow uninhibited. That's our, our essence. That's the feminine force, the creative force of our essence. And so what is coming up for a lot of people right now is this whole transition of Uranus moving into the tropical sign of Taurus. And yet that is a manufactured conception of reality in which the power control system are trying to create a false perception of reality through the concept of Uranus actually going into Taurus at this time. Because it's actually not in Taurus, Uranus that is. Uranus is actually still in Pisces, getting ready to enter Aries. And so what am I saying here is that we're being manipulated on so many levels in the system of consciousness. And that when we can bring the left and right hemispheres of the brain into balance and really embrace the feminine energy within each of every one of us, this is what Meghan Merkel really um, and the marriage to Prince Harry really personifies is that there is a change There's a quickening that is happening. There's a change upon the collective body of humanity. She is a symbolic representation of the feminine face of God in her mixed race and um, of, of ethnicity. And that she represents a feminine face of God that's going to change on the external reflective what femininity represents on a base level, but really this is an internal process that's going or taking place within each and every one of us. But the feminine face that we engage with internally is really our essence. And that being born into the system of consciousness, we're coming to the recognition that we're born into a death program, which I've talked about But what's being mirrored on our external reflective is it is a program of death that predominantly, if we are not in balance with the right and left hemispheres of the brain, that we are not in our right mind. And so we cannot trust those on the external reflective. This is what I talk about in terms of this whole concept of frequency sorting at this time. We're frequency sorting because we're wanting to come more into balance. We're tired of being deceived by this system of consciousness. And this is what we're talking about in terms of this whole concept of end times. And so, yes, we are being able to um, 
move out of the lower frequency and the energy of money from the root chakra or the sacral chakra at a much more deeper level. I'm moving into the higher levels of the heart chakra. And when we can move into the higher levels of the heart chakra, we can radiate a higher frequency. We can tune into the structure of opulence. We can resonate at a frequency that can sustain us in a frequency of opulence. And so we will manifest that into our lives. This is where the power control system operate in their false matrix. They're operating at the frequency of the heart using their artificial construct or matrices. And yet they identify primarily with the lower chakras of fear and control. So it's fascinating to see how the power structure is able to stay at a higher frequency because they have accumulated this whole, they've created an artificial matrix called currency and they're, which is allowing them to extract all the resources from this physical dimension, which is an artificial construct, which is attempting to mirror your essence in order to keep and enslave the majority of humanity in their artificial construct. And so we have the capacity now at this particular time in human history to be able to see beyond the confines of this artificial construct and go, no, nah, I don't want to choose this. I want to choose something different. I want to dissolve all these artificial constructs. I want to eradicate all these false belief systems that I've been buying into, eradicating them and allowing myself to experience and explore the higher frequencies that are matching, that are much closer to my essence. And so as we are attracting the higher vibratory frequency in the heart chakra, we are frequency sorting. So people will come in and out of our lives, just as people come in and out of the sharings that I share here, because I am constantly evolving and transmuting negative energies into positive energies closer to my essence. So I'm going to draw and repel certain people. And some of you will stick around for the whole duration. And a lot of you will fall off as I shift and change and frequency sort, you will shift and change and frequency sort. And then you, some will come in and out of this construct that is evolving and, and shaping as I'm molding and shaping it. It's just a construct that I'm sharing with you that I'm organically growing into. And so I want to show you something in terms of this physical dimension and our relationship with this universal construct. Can you conceive of this universe? And I'm showing you here stick pictures of our universe and the star systems. Can you conceive that the star systems, this universe is a universal mind, the universal mind of God is in fact the garden of Eve, Eden. That this universal mind is in fact the garden of Eden. And it is your essence that is encapsulated through this concept of a soul that manifests itself through, I'll just give you an example, this Virgo constellation that I'm pointing to here. See, we were all potentially born of the Virgin. This is a myth through this Virgo constellation. And so if I contemplate the Virgo constellation, and remember, I've talked about the Virgo constellation being 
a highly catalytic um, area of energy, intense energy, um, one of the highest areas of potential energy within the system of consciousness, and that all the um, monuments in Washington are pointing towards this constellation. And so this whole concept of as above, so below, and that, you know, maybe, you know, the, the, one of the key things is to be able to harness the energies within this universal mind construct. And that these stick features, you know, like in terms of Virgo, this is the head area and Spica's point is, is the is at the you know at at the root the mudalahara chakra this is the the butt or the the spine of the body and that this is the lower part of the body and these are the feet as described here this is being the virgo constellation that we are born out of this whole concept the virgo constellation which i will go into more depth but i just wanted you to contemplate this whole idea that this universal mind that we've been born into, that the universe is the mind construct, it is the Garden of Eden, and that these physical bodies, when, we are, when our soul is born into these physical bodies based on this universal concept of a mind, that the universal mind is actually the nerve, nervous system the nerves and that all these star systems are the chakra systems and the way that our nerves interact with these chakra systems and that the planetary bodies as they go through this universal nervous system that it impacts our nervous system or our electromagnetic field which is made up of this etheric body the soul which is really the frequencies of light and sound through the visual light spectrum, this electromagnetic field that we are, our soul is encapsulated in is what we are expressing through these human bodies. So I just wanted you to contemplate this because I'm going to explore and experience some more of what we're experiencing here in this physical dimension, but that we are all going through this initiatory process. And how fascinating that we can engage in this initiatory process. That's why I say it's such a glorious time, but yeah, just to be able to have that and to be able to contemplate that we are in this universal mind and that when we study the astrology, that we are basically studying how this universal mind, which is the macrocosm, is expressing itself through these biological vehicles. Because when we are born into the system, we are born into this death program, life and death happens when we are born into these physical bodies and that when we resurrect ourselves out of these physical bodies that is when we return return to the mother's womb the universe and that when we return to the mother's room that is when life happens and so we are able to bring this whole concept of life into these physical bodies now we don't have to walk amongst the dead anymore. We can actually bring the life of who we are, which is outside of the construct of these bodies, and bring life into these bodies, into these vehicles, and explore and experience life in these, this whole concept of death. So I'm going to leave this with you. But the key thing is not to fear the process that you are engaged in. That it is the letting go. That in that process of letting go, 
that you can engage the initiatory process that you're in or the apprenticeship process that you were in. Because I know that for myself, I am an apprentice. An apprentice meaning that I'm in an initiatory state in the evolution of this biological vehicle and this personality. And that as I experience more of my essence in physicality, it is an initiatory process. It is an apprenticeship that I am embarking on. as I learn to not allow the external expression of those that I come in contact with to influence my life anymore, that I become the witness more so in this life experience, that I don't, do not allow those on the external reflective as they act out their programs their unconscious programs, that as I'm able to stand and bear witness of those in the external reflective who act out their unconscious programs, that as I'm able to bear witness to those in the external reflective and not buy into or react to those individuals that I'm actually releasing any type of negative frequency or program that attempts to pull me back into the lower frequencies. And that as I bear witness and do not react or respond in a negative way to anyone who attempts to um, disrespect me or treat me in a negative way, that I'm moving myself out of those old frequencies, those frequencies that I've just simply been born into, whether genetically or through my astrological blueprint, based on the blueprint that I've been born into, will create certain attractions of different frequencies that are incongruent with who I am. And so as I learn to dissolve those frequencies, I'm developing a strength, an inner strength, an inner wisdom, an inner reconnection, and bringing into balance the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Learning to explore and experience and express the feminine face of my essence in this physical human expression, which is predominantly more of the male archontic negative forces within this physical dimension. Remember, we primarily experience this physical dimension. It's 90% of it is negative. So we are all constantly attracting and repelling positive and negative forces. And so with this whole concept of frequency sorting, you're being tested every step of the way, whether you will continue to engage yourself in the lower negative frequencies or whether you have the capacity to in each and every moment rise above or rise to the occasion and explore and experience what it means to be more connected to your essence and experience a higher frequency so that you can manifest that which you want into your life, which is more, more congruent with the higher frequencies of the heart chakra, which mirrors into this universal construct of this concept of God, which is mirrored by the concept of opulence, but which is mirrored by the concepts of one be having the capacity to manifest one's destiny at a higher level into this physical vehicle. So I thank you so much for tuning in. I know a lot of what I share may be kind of out there, but conceive of something or some information being able to be expressed through others at a whole different level. And that by allowing yourself 
to potentially explore and experience someone expressing at a higher level in a different capacity than what you're normally used to, that that might open doors for you to feel comfortable to explore and experience your life in a different way. I thank you so much for tuning in. It truly is a glorious time to be here. And if there's any way that I can support you, there's a link to my astrological readings and my energy healing sessions. I encourage you to reach out to me and I'm here to support you in any way that I can. And I encourage you to leave comments. More of you are starting to leave comments and, and share at this level. Uh, I welcome that and I welcome you here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And give me some feedback on this whole concept of how you're conceiving of what I just presented in terms of looking at this universal mind that is going out and looking at the star systems as a collective mind of God and that we are expressions of that mind and that by learning our astrological blueprint, we cannot better understand and, and, and develop a closer connection with this mind of God that is influencing every aspect of our lives in these physical forms. Anyway, take care. I look forward to connecting with you again. Bye.